Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the Trayvax Contour Wallet. I'm really excited to try this wallet out and talk to you about it. It has a lot going for it. It comes with a 65 year warranty. You can customize the fit of the wallet and it uses top grain leather. Uh, the company is a US company and all their products are made here in the USA, so I love supporting them. Uh, on the packaging, they emphasize that they have a 5,000 job plan where they're trying to create 5,000 American jobs so you can feel good about supporting this company in the United States. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And as I said, I got the titanium version. So it's amazing how light and sturdy this wallet is. Uh, but before we get into that, take a look at this packaging. It's uh, signed by Mary L, which is the American worker who made this wallet. Super cool to see that. Also, don't forget to take out that screwdriver on the side there. Don't throw away the packaging without that. You'll need that to adjust the wallet. So you're going to use the screwdriver to loosen these screws and then adjust those leather pieces to fit the exact number of cards that you carry. So it'll be very customized and fit nicely for your particular use case. So this wallet uses high quality materials uh, such as stainless steel, brass, or titanium. I have the titanium and the top plate is coated with PVD for durability, ensuring that the wallet can withstand daily wear and tear. Uh, then the plates are wrapped in this top grain oil tanned leather, which is super nice. You can see how thick it is in the stitching. It will develop a nice patina over time and your wallet will take on a character of its own. It's very slim as you can see and it's ideal for use as as a front pocket wallet, making it great for everyday carry. It can hold uh, 1 to 13 cards and 1 to 10 folded bills, so uh, you can really adjust it to expand and uh, carry a lot of cards if you'd like to. The wallet measures 3.8 inches in length, 2.4 in width, and 0.5 inches in thickness. Uh, as you can see, it has those torque screws that are in six places around the wallet. What you're going to do is take this screwdriver that's included, Hopefully you remembered to pull it out of the package and you loosen them up just a little bit. And once you loosen it, you're going to be able to adjust these strips of leather. And notice the strips of leather have a line that's printed on them and that helps you line everything up so you're not kind of guessing and ending up with a, a wallet that is, is uneven. It's really easy to adjust and get it, get it perfect. Once the sides are set up the way you want them to hold your cards, you take a look at this post here, which also has a Torx screw on it, and you slide it down, up and down that channel to the appropriate tightness to then put that flap of leather over top of it and hold your cards in place. So it's the post that locks into this grommet. It's super easy to do. And it's so satisfying to just open and close. What an ingenious way to do things. And if you look underneath, you can see that a channel has been machined out for that post to slide up and down. So there's no sharp edges or anything there that can scratch up your cards. Cash just simply tucks right underneath this flap and it's held in place by the tension uh, from having that post and grommet closed. It's super easy to use. You just tuck it in there and then it's held in place by the three sides of leather and then the tension, which keeps it from falling out. It's super cool. So let's uh, throw some cards in here. They just slide right in. And that's five cards. Uh, that's about what the wallet came set up to handle. And uh, I'm going to leave it about that because I, I usually only care about five or six cards. And then you just simply snap the uh, wallet shut. And there you have it. That's what it looks like carrying about five cards and uh, four slips of cash. And then to access your cards, this is my favorite part, you just open it up and then thumb through the cards and you can pick the card you want just by kind of sliding them through until you see the card that you want and then that's the one that will be exposed on the bottom and you just slide it out. So how cool is that? It's the most functional minimalist wallet I've ever used in my life. It's just strikes the perfect balance between size, form factor, function, and usability. Super cool. Now, another feature of this wallet is the bottle opener that's built in. 
Now, from pictures that I saw, I wasn't sure exactly how that worked with the cards in it, but now that I have it, I can take a look and, and show you that it's actually raised up off the cards a little bit, so you would have no problem actually using it, and your cards aren't at risk at all. So as I mentioned, I got the titanium version of this wallet, but it also comes in brass or stainless steel. I really like the titanium, though. It's lightweight, and it's really strong, and it seems like it's worth the premium price. And here's my current setup. I've been using and carrying the Travax Contour every day now for about a week, and I absolutely love it. You've probably heard great things about this wallet by now, either on YouTube videos or other reviews. Um, so so had I. I. I was skeptical, but now that I own it, I can see that the hype is real. I absolutely love this wallet. My favorite features are the post and grommet closure system, the adjustability, the open design so you can sort through your cards, um, the ease of carrying cash, and the use of titanium and top grain leather. It's the absolute best materials. Um, don't forget about the 65 year warranty. And most of all, I love that it's made by American workers in the United States, ensuring that you're getting a quality product while supporting other Americans. So let me know if you have any questions about the Travax Contour in the comments below. What wallet are you currently using? And would you consider switching to the Travax Contour? If you like this video, please like and subscribe so I know to keep making this content. Thank you so much.